Hello, let's take a look at uh, profit maximization for a monopoly. And there's two ways to do that. You can look at a table and data from a table and figure out where a monopolist has the largest profit. A little bit later on, we're going to look at profit maximization from a graph. So here we have a table with data, cost data, revenue data. And uh, there's two ways to figure out what quantity, the quantities in the first column, what quantity this monopolist should produce in order to maximize profits. First of all, notice that the demand curve for the monopolist is actually downward sloping. That means that the as the price goes down from 12 to 11 to 10 and so forth, the quantity goes up. So this monopolist has control over the price. This is in contrast to what we saw in Unit 6 where one individual firm in pure competition does not have control over the price. So here the price falls and that allows the monopolist to sell more products. What that means is that we have to figure out the total revenue. Total revenue is price times quantity and then we can also figure out marginal revenue. Now notice that marginal revenue except for the first value at 11, marginal revenue is not the same as the price anymore for a monopolist. Marginal revenue falls yeah, from 11 to 9 to 7 and so forth. Price falls also but marginal revenue actually falls more and that means that when we look at the graph later on, the marginal rev revenue curve is below the demand curve. Back to profit maximization. Let's take a look at the first approach. And that is by comparing marginal cost and marginal revenue. So the golden rule of profit maximization that we noticed from Unit 6 is that we have to look at where marginal cost comes closest to marginal revenue without marginal cost being greater. Also, you have to look at where you have to look at the quantity in the section where the quantity, uh, where the I'm sorry, the marginal cost is not falling. So we can rule out a quantity of ten because after this marginal cost of five, the the uh, marginal cost falls to two. So from two on, we can start to take a look at uh, where marginal cost comes closest to marginal revenue. Well, two and nine are not really that close, so let's take a look at the next one. Three and seven, it's getting closer. Four and five, that looks like the closest one. If we look at the next one, six and three, uh, that's not as close, first of all, and also the marginal cost there is greater than marginal revenue, so we definitely don't want that. So the marginal cost of 4 and the marginal revenue of 5, which is where the quantity is 40, is, is going to be where your profit is the greatest. Now another way to, calculate, uh, to figure out where you have your maximum profit is, of course, is just to calculate total profit. So let's do that here. So for the first value in the profit column, we have uh, total, of course, profit equals total revenue, total revenue minus total cost. So zero minus 90, we have a loss of 90, so minus 90 in the profit column. The next value is total revenue of 110, Minus total cost of 140, that's minus 30, so it's getting better, but we still have a loss. And then for quantity 20, we have total revenue of 200, total cost is 160, so now we're actually in the plus, plus 40 for an actual profit, an actual economic profit. Let's see if we can do better than that. At quantity 30, we have 270, minus 190, total revenue minus total cost, and that's plus 80. The next is at quantity 40, we have a total revenue of 320, total cost of 230, that's plus 90. And then at quantity 50, we have total revenue of 350 and a total cost of 290, so that's plus 60. So as you can see, the maximum profit is at plus 90, which we already saw earlier. So the quantity is 40 there, 
We're going to charge a price of $8. That's the best situation for this monopolist. And uh, we saw already earlier when we did the marginal cost, marginal revenue comparisons using the golden rule of profit maximization, that 40 was indeed the quantity that the monopolist should produce in order to maximize its profits.